Hey guys, before we start today's video, make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you are, that's great, but if you're not, then please subscribe to this channel. It only takes one second, just click the subscribe button, make it gray, make sure you ring that bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video, and also, share this channel with your friends or family if you want them to check out this channel. Anyways, without any further distractions, grab your snacks, juices, and pillows and blankets, and enjoy this crappy video. Gacha is a role-playing game that allows users to create and customize anime-styled characters, choosing from a choice of outfits to wear and their appearance like their hair, eyes. Users can choose and play from 8 minigames, create skits in studio mode, create scenes, and chat with other players. The app also features an app purchases such as gems, which can be bought starting from $1.99. The app was created by Lucas Lee, who is known by Looney in the internet. Now that you know what Gacha is and who created it, let's just jump right into the dark side of it, shall we? Gacha, like every single community in this godforsaken internet, has both a good side and a bad side. The good side is filled with talented people that can make quality gacha videos slash animations. But for the bad side is filled with people who are supporting incest, homophobia, transphobia, and just gacha heat. But like, it's just bizarre how these people are supporting all these things because they think it's not bad. You can tell that these people are either kids or retarded and I just can't believe that their parents didn't take their phones but yeah without any further distractions grab your snacks everyone and let's just jump right into the points I just brought up so there's this subreddit called r slash gotcha cringe and in the subreddit the people there would post cringy slash bad posts on the bad side of the gotcha community and yeah, um, let's just say that most of the posts are related to incest. This is not a joke, by the way. I'm actually being serious. Like, what the hell is wrong with these kids? Oh my god. But yeah, um, I don't know why, but these gotcha kids would, for some reason, sip siblings together. Siblings, you know, who are related by blood. And they're not supposed to fall in love at all. Unless they're from Game of Thrones. But seriously though, I don't know what's wrong with these gacha kids. But they would just ship siblings together to the point where it's just getting disgusting and just weird. For example, this video right here is titled, My stepbrother is the father of my kids. Am I the only one that sees what's wrong with this? Like... I know he's your stepbrother, but still, that is literally effed up, what the hell? I just don't know what's wrong with these kids. Who gave these kids their phones, I wonder? Maybe their alcoholic parents, or Karen aunt, or something, I don't know, but... Anyways, let's just move on to the next section. I just don't want to talk about this anymore, because the more I talk about this, the more disgusting I get, so... Let's just move on. So, these gacha kids would say stuff that are just really transphobic and just effed up. They would say stuff like, trans people are not real, that they're faking it for attention, or they would say stuff like, trans people deserve to die. And, I just have to say, that is effed up, and just, you need help. Why would you say that? What is wrong with you people? So yeah, um... They would say stuff like that, and I just don't understand why. But then, for some reason, they would say stuff like, If this post gets this much likes, then I'll be a transgender for a week. Basically, they would say stuff like, I'll be a trans for a week, or something like that. And I'm pretty sure that's not how trans people work. They, You just can't p change your gender for a week and then change back. Are you okay, mate? Like... 
to be a transgender person, you have to change your gender permanently, I think, right? I mean, like, I'm not a transgender person, all right? I do have friends who are transgender or non-binary, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. Let me know in the comments, but, yeah, I don't think that's how it works. Um, These kids are effed up, they need to see the light, or they need to uh, educate themselves. You know, just search on Google what the hell trans means, because I can tell you 100% that you can't just change your gender for a week, then change back. Like, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Anyways, that's all for this point. Let's move on to the next point. So, these gotcha kids can be a bit of an ass when it comes to the LGBTQ community. They would say stuff like, gay people are faking their sexual attraction just for attention, or say stuff like, gay people deserve to die. Amazing children. Not only that, but they would say stuff that are utterly stupid. They would say stuff like, Gay, n- gays are fake, they're just a kink. How does that make sense? Oh, but here's the worst part, right? For some reason, these gotcha kids just thinks any gay person who's gay has to wear like a pinkish girlish dress and I don't know why they assumed that I don't know who gave them that idea I'm pretty sure it was James Charles but still that uh, that is utterly stupid I don't think I've ever seen a gay person <coughs> wearing a girlish outfit <coughs> you know but hey it's just me I don't know about you guys but I'm pretty sure not all gay people wear pink dresses or girl is clothes, because, like, come on, not every single gay person is, like, a, uh, a girl is fanboy or something like that, you know? And, yeah, I just don't understand why they're all obsessed with the LGBTQ community. Like, they're so obsessed with it, it's just weird, you know? Like, they will just make random posts about it, too. I don't know what's wrong with these people. I, I, I don't think they ever met a gay person in real life, but... Yeah, the things they uh, they post about gay people are just not real, effed up, and I'm pretty sure they might have uh, watched one video from J- James Charles and just assumed every, every single gay person is like that. I don't know, man. It's just me. Anyways, let's just move on to the next section. So, these gotcha kids are very racist, and I just don't know why. So, the stuff they say and post is just entirely racist. They would, uh, post stuff like, All black people are bad guys and criminals, even though there are actually many other people in different races that are committing crimes, so I don't know where the frick she got this from. But anyways, yeah. That's not all. The most effed up thing I've seen these kids do is mock the death of George Floyd. I'm not joking. Someone recreated the moment where George Floyd was stepped on by on his neck. On his neck. And they just thought it was funny. They just thought it was an okay thing to do when, when it was effed up. And I don't know why they want to recreate that. That shit wasn't okay. I don't know what's wrong with them, but they're kids. Yeah, you can't just blame kids for doing stuff this small, right? No, like, this is just effed up. Your kids are supposed to learn how to discipline themselves. Or, like, learn where, you know, a joke is going a bit too far. Like, my goodness, man, why would you recreate the death of George Floyd? That is entirely effed up, and you need to see a doctor. Anyways, um, that's all for this section. I know it's too small. I know. I wish I could add more, but that's all I can gather from now. Let's just move on to the last point, and then we'll go to the conclusion, shall we? Here it is, the point you've all been waiting for. Gotcha heat. Yay! I'm just going to kill myself after this video. So, for anyone who doesn't know what gacha heat is, that's good. That's really good. Don't, just don't search it up on Google, please. But for those who does know, um, uh, I don't know what to say, dude. Just pour bleach so you can forget about it. But yeah, um, I have to explain what gacha heat is so I can explain what I'm talking about. So, 
Yeah, yeah, I, I love my job on YouTube. So, Dachi Heat is when a half animal character is put through a, a very um, gross phase. And yeah, you basically might understand where I'm going with this. Yeah, mm. the fact that are, there are like kids making this, like there are like many kids making these kind of posts just disgust me. But you know what's the worst thing about it? The worst thing about it is that there are YouTube videos on Gacha Heat and they're not age restricted at all. They're not taken down. Like, they, they, I, like there are like several Gacha Heat videos that hasn't been taken down. And YouTube was just sitting down in their own throne made out of shit and piss and money and just cutting down their cash while all of us have been suffering from this disgusting side of the gacha community. YouTube, what the flying chicken pox have you been on? Like, what kind of meth have you been on, mate? Like, you mean to tell me that you won't take down videos that actually violate your guidelines, but you will take down other people's videos or channels because they didn't violate your guidelines? What the frick? How does that make sense? Like, I know YouTube is having a hard time with, you know, millions of users on, on their platform and all, but, like, come on, like, don't you have a bot? Like, how can this stuff just be on YouTube and not being taken down or age-restricted? Like, YouTube, what the frick? Oh, my God. And the fact that our kids making this worries me. Like, who taught them about this and why are they making it? Like, that's just disgusting, man. I just don't know what to say, like, I have lost hope for humanity, if there are kids like this, then humanity is freaked up, because, you know, there will be, like, a lot of disgusting children running around, and we don't want that, but yeah, I just don't know what to say about this point, other than these people are sick, they need medical help, or they need mental help, and they need to realize that what they're doing is disgusting, and they should stop. Like, please, just, just stop making Gacha Heat videos. Please, I'm begging you. Anyways, let's move on to the conclusion, shall we? So, what did we learn today? We learned that Gacha kids are homophobic, transphobic, racist, and just horny. And they shouldn't have the internet. They should just go outside, see the sun, inhale the air, and just touch the grass for the first time in forever. And yeah, that's all. But before we end this video, guys, please, and I repeat this, please don't harass anyone in the gacha community because they don't deserve it. Like, it's not their fault that there are, you know, these kids who are making these disgusting videos or weird ass posts. Like, it's not their fault or Looney's fault. Don't harass anyone in the gacha community or like the creator himself and i should have definitely said that in my tiktok video so i'm gonna say it here don't harass anyone who make tiktok videos or gacha videos or literally anything at all just don't harass anyone please and just ignore them and just if you want report them if the if their post is either racist homophobic transphobic and just disgusting Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a like, please. And if this is the first time you ever watched from me, then please consider subscribing to this channel. I'm trying to hit 200 subs at the end of June. But yeah, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll see you guys with a brand new video. Peace out.